last, Hall Live English Generation 2 has now been revealed. As last night, a reveal video was released showing off all five of the new members of Hall Live English. With the Keeper of Nature being Ceres Fauna, the Speaker of Space is Sukumo Sana, the Representation of Chaos goes to Hakko's Bales, the Warden of Time being Oro Crony, and lastly, the Guardian of Civilization being Nanashi Mume. As these five talents are now set to debut this weekend, beginning Saturday, August 21st at 10 a.m. Pacific and 1 p.m. Eastern, running all the way until 6 p.m. Pacific and 9 p.m. Eastern for their first group collab with this Hall Live English group, officially going by the name Council. And now for reactions from the rest of Hall Live English, we turn over to our intern, ID. Yes, at last, at last, the day is here, and Hall Live English's Takanashi Kiara could not be more surprised, as Amelia Watson had some play on words, saying, well, it's a out time. The new members may need some space, since debuting is just so chaotic and all. It's only natural. We live in a civilization, with Iris saying, I just woke up and I'm senpai now, receiving a congratulations from fellow V-singer Asgi and a big same or big same, depending on how you read that, from Hall Live English's Nina Mai Inanis, with Ina then asking quick, what do I say I need to sound cool to Kohai's oh no, along with Gal Gura also requesting let me know once you figure it out. And yes, the rapping reaper was also on hand, that being Mori Calliope, seen here praying to hollow theism, and then linking to the reveal video, and then asking, when do I get to play with everyone? That everyone, starting with Ceres Fauna, the keeper of nature, and according to her YouTube about page, has horns that are made out of the branches of a certain tree. They are not deer antlers. With this VTuber's character illustrator being revealed as Tosaka Asagi, who would also tweet out this artwork, saying, I'm in charge of the design of Ceres Fauna, a VTuber belonging to Hall Live English. I'm looking forward to working with her. Later receiving a tearful thank you from Fauna herself, Fauna would firstly tweet out, Oh dear, receiving this response from Callie. Hello, Fauna. I am your senpai, Death. Thank you for the many souls you have brought my way. I anticipate our future relationship. As Kiara responded with, I see you picked up the grass that Botan dropped. Nice recycling. Ina responded with, hello and welcome, ma'am. Are you taking headlights applications? And Iris responded with, nice to meet you, dear. Can I take a bite of your apple? Wow, this is all very cheesy, but wholesome too. Yes, cheesy and wholesome is certainly the name of the game today. With Uni at Uni Iho, the pinko doggo who loves pesto, cranking out this fan artwork and then asking, can I call you mommy? With Fauna replying, your art is beautiful. I have a feeling this question isn't as straightforward as it seems. As Fauna would also tweet out this screenshot asking what you're looking at, receiving a heartful reply from Gura and Amelia responding with nature is really beautiful. Fauna would also go on to ponder ground pound mothers, mother nature with the resident ground pounder of mothers, Amelia, then stating I need to think deeply about this. As Tentopus went ahead and shared this sketch with us, saying, I need to recycle more so that nature doesn't look at me like that. This particular look seemingly being reserved for one of Fauna's gen mates, that being for Sukumo Sana. Sana. Santa. We will all find out the correct pronunciation soon enough. With Sana acting as the speaker of space, this talent would firstly tweet out this image, saying, I come in peace. With Callie firstly responding, oh my god, you aren't banned yet. This is a miracle. Hello, I am your senpai, Death. I anticipate our future together. And yes, we will talk on that subject of banning soon enough. But firstly, the Mamaloni published this fan artwork in under two hours of the reveal. Then earlier this morning, reversing the hairstyles of the hollow myth talents, giving us a short-haired Callie, long-haired Gura, long-haired Ame, long-haired Kiara, and a short-haired Ina. This all coming a week after more Takamori goodness was given to us, as Mama Loni also dropped on us this summertime fun, posting these images to hashtag Takamori Summer, which has always proven to be a very 
tasty cocktail. Santa would also at Fauna, saying, I kiss your feet, with Fauna then responding, not going to fall for you baiting me to call you disgusting again. Santa's character illustrator is Paco, at Paco Sun, saying in their bio, I draw and poop every day to live, and then responding to the reveal video announcement with this English tweet, I'm Santa's papa, I'm new and inexperienced, but I'll do my best. I hope they will be happy. Following up with, I am still learning English in Mori Calliope's channel today. And then delivering this illustration for Santa, saying, I want you to go on the path that you believe in yourself. An image that was then retweeted by Yago, aka Motoaki Tanigo, the CEO of Cover Corporation and Hololive, a man that long ago had a dream of creating a say-so idol company, with Santa then narrating the thoughts of the CEO, saying, where did I go wrong? Yago whispers to himself in defeat with his head hanged low as he voluntarily retweets me kissing Mother Nature's feet. Santa would also confirm for us, I don't want to let you all down, but Fauna's feet is the only feet for the universe. With Fauna then responding with this wonderfully Yandere reply of, as they should be. And in response to Ina needing to sound cool to her co-highs, Santa would respond, it's okay, you don't have to try. I already know. Both Santa and Ina are connected connected to the Ancient Ones, leading to Das Doctor, sharing this fan work and saying one blessed and one ignored by the Ancient Ones. And next we have Hako's Bells. Hako's, Hako's Balls? Taco Bell? The bio for Bales says this often upside down VTuber is often also tweeting upside down, leading many to wonder if she is from Australia. As her bio reads, welcome to the fun zone hollow en council rep chaos and it's party time with this talent being appointed as the chairperson of the council and despite her t-shirt reading as rat her bio reads as mouse like which has deceived many a fool who fails to realize that mice are the harbingers of chaos we're here to kill chaos Bale's first tweet would simply read as an upside down what's up as Callie responded with chaos. Thank you for the many sacrifices. I look forward to our continued mutual beneficial future. Kiara replied with an upside down I love you already. Ina responded with a garbled sup bro with Kiara also later tweeting out I need a Hakko's Bale's voice pack now. But unfortunately upon Bale's trying to apply to KFP, Kiara would respond sorry but we already have issues with the food inspection authorities, we can't let a rat in. A rat that is garnering plenty of fan artwork, such as this very colorful piece coming from Loon Rune at VT Rune and saying, I wub. Rinyan gave us this piece as well, stating, I like her design so much. As Cheu at Ucheu flips us all upside down with this Hako Peak with zero sketchbook, driving this mouse and shark into a confrontation that quickly resolved itself and this piece from Potato, giving us a super rare cat shark hunting scene. Koa fan would then share this legally distinct mouse, along with Indie Draws, sharing this cute rat holding a cute rat. Our next member of the council is Oro Crony, and oh no, it happened again. That's right, due to so many follows in such a short time, Twitter has locked the account for this time VTuber. Illustrated by Wada Aruko, Crony has developed a little bit of haughtiness and sadistic tendencies with her first and only tweet right now reading i'm sorry that i'm not a tree but a helicopter can have everything in life an experience shared by iris on her debut as she was locked out of her twitter for her first three days saying from personal experience though twitter jail food ain't that bad before the ban callie would reply i have to get my interactions in before you all get banned by twitter so it Excuse my rudeness if this is too soon, but you have a very nice clock. With Callie then being accused of jinxing it, with this Reaper then replying, I jinxed nothing, it was pre-written in Destiny. And also later tweeting out, very cool Twitter, very cool. Crony did receive other replies, such as this one from Kiara, saying, I am timeless, but I don't want to be without you. Ina saying, waiting until the end of time for time to be back, and then receiving this highly 
really impressive fan artwork from Katschen at Rated Katschen, which is perhaps the biggest mystery to come out of any of these reveals, as this highly accurate and highly detailed artwork was posted only six minutes after the reveal was done, leading many to ask, how did this artist have access to the character design before the reveal? But mysteries aside, we do have this animated piece coming from Con Grogrim, which sees this clock-headed talent going for a flight. You may remember from Iris's debut that she dislikes both heights and ceiling fans, having not liked rotating blades, leading Iris to reply to Crony with, I would take you over a tree 3000, but I refuse to admit you're a helicopter. As Santa also stated, hurry up, chop chop Twitter, you are taking our precious time. As Amelia, Hall Live's number one time traveling detective, would tweet out, Twitter is protecting me from a certain time lord. I swear I'll give it back soon. And Kiara would go on to send out this message, stating it's a ban festival. As yes, our fifth and last member, Nanashi Mume, was also restricted by Twitter. Also like Fauna and Bales, this Hall Live English member's bio reads with more Japanese than English. And also revealing their character illustrator to be Azuru, who was very perplexed by this first tweet that simply read as, oh man, with this artist responding, I was wondering what that meant, but I guess it means something like, are you serious? I guess I learned another lesson. With Callie also responding, hello Mume, I am your senpai death. You are very cute. I am glad to see we have another bird. I shall call you Kyawatori. An introduction that didn't go over so well with Hall Live English's resident Kusotori. This particular VTuber decided to make herself owl-like, further also being called cute by both Ina, as well as Amelia, who was responding to this artwork posted by Hitsu at Hitsukuya, as Misa at Misa Misato Tomi shared this piece and saying, I only knew her in less than half day, but Nanashi Mume is my child now. Along with Iris also calling her beautiful, Sana asking, do you need a pillow in jail and can I be the pillow? As Sho at Shokun illustrated this piece, along with stating, Burb is cute and the paper bag pet is amazing. Yes, artists are having lots of fun with this new cast, with Orobo giving us this artwork of both civilization and nature, Old Knight sharing this artwork of civilization and chaos, along with Vinji at Vinji VTuber, giving us not just one, not just two, and not just three, but four 3D renders of the mascots for this new cast. As Art Kuzu also shared the shirt cut meme for these members, saying, bro, they coordinated this really well, and I may not be fast at drawing, but I'm fast at making memes. Sakura Mochi is also back, delivering this popping piece of the five, entitled We Are Gods, with Callie now proclaiming herself as Senpai. Mika Picasso, the character illustrator for the Mouse Rat, would respond with Calliope Senpai, as Callie responded, thank you for making such a cool dog. And while we are talking about mouse rats, let's go ahead and quickly check back in with Iron Mouse, V Shoujo's Demon Queen, a VTuber who is so terrified of both space and birds that this past week she had broadcasted a seven hour long punishment stream in which she could do nothing but watch videos of both space and birds. Yes, that's right, space and birds. But Mouse would go on to post this shot saying, I will Will protect this smile with my life as well as responding to bales with whoa chaotic rat hello i am a chaotic demon who is named mouse also jokingly stating i can't believe my cousin got into hollow live now as an update we have confirmed with mouse this morning that our appearance on her talk show will occur this week that being on thursday august 19th at 7 p.m eastern and 4 p.m pacific we very much hope you can join us on Mousy's stream that night as the both of us certainly have a number of important questions for one another. And we also now have the results from our latest community poll with 9,800 of you voting on how important is a VTuber's voice to you as a viewer with 28% voting very important, 50% voting important, 16% voting slightly important, and 6% voting not important. You know, I have this nagging feeling that we forgot to talk about about something. Well, if you forgot to talk about
about it, it couldn't have been that important, right? Oh yeah, good point. And that is all for this episode. As always, please feel free to like, comment, and subscribe below. Our memberships are open, and we have a new community poll. Meanwhile, we'll have more things VTubers say for you soon.